Hey, yo, it's Big Peso, man. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. You know the vibes. Trust they came and attached me. Now I ain't playing no war zone. I'm with your bitch right now. I would say a name, but I don't know. All right, so we got the one and only Big Peso jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. Sir, you know what it is. What's up? Man, I'm feeling good. How about yourself today, too, man? Yeah, good. Can't complain. For sure, man. Welcome, bro. Yes, sir. Me and yeah. A, man. Yeah, you've been out here for a couple days, right? Yeah, we've been out here for almost a week. Okay. So what have you been working? What, what else have you been seeing since you've been in the city there? Uh, we got a lot of content done, for real. Um, a lot of videos, probably eight, nine videos, with lots of reels. Oh, wow. Got a couple features done with some artists out here. Okay. Um, just been working. Yeah. Studio vibes, all that Stop. nonstop working. Nah, that's what it's all about, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you come up here to Atlanta pretty often or not too much? Uh, this is really my second time for real, but uh, I'm trying to get out here more more okay. often, at least every other month or something. Nah, absolutely. But yeah, because we got a studio out here too, so we try to come out here a lot. Yeah. But it's been a while. It's been almost a year since the last time I was out here. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, consider how much work you got done, man. Definitely. Need to nah, yeah, I had to lock in. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Yeah. For sure. And you want to go ahead and shout out your people sitting up there with you today too, man? Yeah, man. Shout out my boy Lil J, This It, Manny, J Millie Mills. For sure, man. So, yeah, we are, they are artists as well. So. Okay. That's what's good, man. Mm -hmm. So, you're originally from Fort Wayne, right? Yeah, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, man. So, talk about your experience growing up there. Like, what was you into it and everything? Uh, really, I just was chilling. I used to vibe it. Fort Wayne's a little messed up, but it's cool, you know? It's what you make it like anywhere else. But uh, really, I was always doing music and stuff since I was young. Yeah. My step pops had a studio growing up. So, it was like that. Um, I used to skate and shit, so <laughs> shit like that. But really, besides that, I was chilling. Okay. I, throw, I used to throw a lot. Of people know me back there for. I used to throw a lot of parties and shit. Oh really? So and they used to get crazy. There you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you say Fort Wayne's messed up, like, what do you mean by that, man? It's just it's getting better. I, I would say, but it's just it's active city life, you know. So I don't know. It's like one of the cheapest places to live and. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's, it's up there. It might not be now, but it was at least yeah. a year ago. Okay. So when would you say you jumped off the porch? How old were you? I would say probably when I probably around high school for real. Like just, I don't really be doing too much though. I really be staying out of the way, chilling, making music. I dig that. Yeah. And you got any siblings or are you the only kid? Yeah, I got a lot of brothers, man. I got probably, I got eight, nine brothers. I got two oh, kids. <laughs> so. I got one sister as, as well, yeah. my dad's side. My dad stays out in Detroit. Okay. So. Now, did you grow up with all your siblings or were they kind of living uh, On my mom's side, yeah. Okay. Yeah, on my brothers. I got all brothers on my mom's side. I grew up with all them all, pretty much my whole life, yeah. Yeah. And where do you fall in like age-wise? You're the oldest? I'm the oldest, or? yeah. Okay. I'm the oldest. Yeah. <clears throat> there are, my other brother, he's in college. One just graduated high school. The rest are in middle school. Okay. I got a couple of younger ones too. Yeah. So. Did yeah, you feel yeah. any type of uh, like responsibility to kind of show them a better way then and everything too? Yeah, yeah, always. Cause yeah, I'm, I know they look up to me too a little bit, so I gotta lead by example, you know. Yeah. Do try to get them to go do the right things too. So yeah. I feel that man. <laughs> and what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you had to overcome in your life so far? Uh, shit, really just myself, like pushing myself to do better. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, shit get hard sometimes, but yeah. But with that, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got you. Uh, did you end up going to college after school? Or? Yeah, I'm actually still in college right now, full sale for okay. music production. Yeah. So I'm almost done. I got a, probably seven, eight months left for that, and okay. that's done. Because I'm also, I'd be engineering myself and stuff mm -hmm. too, making beats. Yeah. So. How would you describe that experience at full sale, man? I hear a lot of people like it, man. Yeah, it's straight. I, it's straight. I like it too. Uh, you know, for the connections and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's pretty solid. I learned a lot through Full Sail, like the technical stuff that I didn't know. Yeah. So it really taught me a lot for real. Okay, okay. So how'd you get into making music at first? Uh, shit, really, my, uh, my stepdad wrote my first song. Really? Yeah, he wrote my first song and just had me rap it. And ever since then, I was just like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> I started trying to write my own stuff. You know, it wasn't the best for a while, but hmm. I got I got locked in and I figured it out. 
Okay. And how I always old were had you? love for it though. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember being young and I used to take my mom's phone. <laughs> I was probably like 10, 11, but I used to rap voice memos like in her phone and just leave them in there. But really? When I when I actually started getting in the studio and shit, um, well, my, it was probably like I was probably like 12 or 13. Okay. I'm shit about to be 27 now. Yeah. But yeah, we had a studio in an all concrete basement, so the quality was horrible, but. <laughs> it's a start though, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a start. It definitely shit, came a long way since then. Yeah. <laughs> and who'd you grow up listening to? Like, who's some of your favorite artists back then when you first started then? When I first started, hmm. I like a lot of like, uh, you know, we're close to like Chicago and, and Detroit and shit. So I listen to a lot of like Detroit music. Um, I'm trying to think of some people like Peasy and there's a lot of artists out there. I can't think of everybody's name, but Babyface and Babyface Ray. Um, I don't know why I can't think of everybody, but a lot of artists in that area, Chicago, Lil Durk, you know, Chief Keef and shit. I used to like Chief Keef a lot back in the day. Okay. Yeah. So shit like that. And how'd you get into engineering? Really? Uh, I used to go to a lot of studios and stuff and I just didn't really like the way they was making my stuff sound so and I when I seriously started engineering it was probably like around 16 I was just going to studios and getting the like what I got back and I'm not really liking it so I tried to do it and then I just went to school to kind of further that because okay. I don't know I, I got a decent ear for music but I always feel like something be missing or something like so yeah. I just wanted to figure out that so yeah no, it's nothing wrong with having like full control over your yeah, sound. Yeah, no, for you know? sure, definitely. Yeah. So, do you engineer for other artists too, or just for yourself? Yeah, a lot of artists around the Sarasota area. That's where I'm at now. So okay. At Soda Studios. Yeah. So, you know, need a session, pull up. Yeah. <laughs> you in Florida? Now, are you very hands-on when you uh, you know recording other artists then too, kind of giving them suggestions and everything. I would say so. I would say so. You know, some artists don't want it. Some artists do. Yeah. But I try my best to, to help them get. I don't know, see the vision that I see too, you know what I mean? And help yeah. them further that in their music, so. For sure, man. Hell yeah. yeah. And I feel like engineers are like so overlooked in like the, you know, the, the definitely. music industry these days, definitely. right? Definitely, definitely, definitely overlooked. Yeah. What do you feel like it's gonna take to kind of, you know, get, get you guys props and all that too then? Um, shit, we just gotta f keep going hard and show them that we got the best sound and yeah. shit. That's really it. Okay. Music speaks for itself. Yeah. It's the best thing. And you ended up moving to Sarasota when you were 19? Yeah, about 19. I just was turning, it was like 18 turning 19, but yeah, basically like a month before I turned 19. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's really when I decided to, I really need to lock in on music and shit. Yeah. Cause shit, I, my mom moved out here a year before I did really. Okay. So, and I was going through a little situation and shit and uh, I ended up having nowhere to go, so I had to move out here with my mom for a little bit. You got right. And what'd you think of Sarasota when you first got down there? Shit, sure, I, a lot different than Fort Wayne. Yeah, I can imagine a lot better. But I loved it when I first got out there. It's still, it's still straight. Like it's a nice place to be. Shit, um, yeah. you know, it's just, it gets crazy everywhere, but it's, it's Sarasota straight. Yeah, I can't complain. And when did you start releasing music? Was it back then when you were like 12, 13? Yeah, I was releasing shit back then, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't no. <laughs> I was definitely dropping stuff on SoundCloud and stuff in high school and stuff. I, there was people fucking with some of it. Okay. So yeah, it was lit. You was getting decent feedback then and all that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I had a, uh, shit, I ran my SoundCloud up a little bit in high school. Okay. Probably like almost 2,000 followers. Yeah. So, yeah. Shit it, was going. <laughs> and when did you start shooting videos and actually putting those out then? Um, all right. So I started off really like recording myself and trying to shoot my own videos oh, with really? the iPhone. <laughs> my dog, like me and my dog Zeke, he's not here, but he was, we were like, rap, we, was, we was rapping together. We was the one that started really rapping together for real. So like, you know, when his verse is re rapping, I'm recording him, right? He's rapping his oh, verse shit. and when I'm rapping, he's coming back doing my shit. But my first real video I did with Dead Soul Videos when I um, moved out here, I was probably, I can't remember what year it was, but I was probably like, I was probably around that time, 19, 20 years old. Okay. I met him at a show I performed at, at the skate park hmm. in Sarasota. So yeah, we locked in after that. And he shoots most of your videos now, right? Yeah, pretty much all of them. I okay. got a couple other videos from a couple other people, Yeah. but um, mostly, yeah. 
So talk about that chemistry you got, uh, with, with you guys then when they're uh, filming and all that. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better. I feel like we did some great work, while, some of the best work that we shot while we've been out here. So it's been lit and shit. I got to get on his ass sometimes, but <laughs> he knows he's my brother. Yeah. Now are you very hands on, like coming up with ideas and concepts or you kind of let him handle uh, it? At first, now I'm trying to get more hands on to get better more like movie style looking stuff but at first we were just winging it running gun you know but yeah we're trying to lock in and make it make our shit look a lot different you know what i mean Absolutely. stand out more than other the basic stuff that everybody's still doing and stuff not real shit man mm -hmm. uh, talk about that song and video uh, till the night ends that's the, the first one ends. on your channel right yeah now. yeah yeah um that's a good song that the guy actually produced that beat he's uh out in dubai and shit oh so. shit he sent me that beat and uh, I hopped on it and shit. And I remember just uh, FaceTiming him. Or he, they don't have FaceTime or something like that. They're not supposed to have, it's something they don't have FaceTime or Instagram, but I remember going on like uh, Zoom or Skype or something with him and <laughs> like, I don't know. Cause he had an Instagram, that's how he hit me up though, through Instagram and oh, sure. they're not supposed to have Instagram over there or some shit, so that shit's crazy. Huh. And but uh, it was a good song, that was actually a fun song. The video was fun as hell too. We had fun in that video. Yeah. It's probably one of, the, one of the funnest videos I shot, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, I saw you post on IG, like, fans say that's one of your favorite songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves that one. Yeah. So, it's my mom's favorite song, too. My oh, stepdad really? likes that song, so. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Is your mom's, uh, you know, very supportive of you, chasing yeah, after this music been, and all that? she's always been very supportive. I got a su real supportive family on both sides. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, that's important these days, yeah. man. Yeah. Hell, yeah. All right, so talk about the CCG, man. CCG, the label, man. Uh, it's a label. Shit, I teamed up with Soda Studios, and we went and uh, did the LLC and all that. Um, we about to start making more stuff happen with that soon. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Get everybody on the, on, on the roll. Yeah. But uh, as far as now, shit, most of, most of us is here. It's probably... Eight, eight of, about eight of us. Okay, eight artists on the label? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and we all like, we all do our solo shit too, but it's just, when we link up, you know what I mean, as a team, just to further shit, make, make it easier on everybody for real. Yeah. You guys talk about doing like a compilation then for the whole label? Yeah, we got, uh, we did our first uh, project, it's called uh, The Family. Okay. Volume one, um, it's the, um, just all of us on there, yeah. so it's a bunch of different type of stuff, because we got different type of artists too. So not everybody's like doing the same thing. We're all got different sounds, so yeah. But we all mesh well together. So when we do do some stuff, so okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the vibes like when all you guys are in the studio cooking up then? Shit, we just be locked in back home. Shit, we got two studios in the same building. So oh, Studio sure. A, we lock in. Probably half the team. The studio B, we lock in. I'm an engineer. Sid's also an engineer. So and an artist as well. So, you know, we split up two groups basically and just crank it out for the, how many ever time, how much time we got for the day, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's hard right there. And walk us through like your creative process then. Uh, shit, for me, it just depends. I wrote, I'll be writing and stuff sometimes, but I wrote some stuff on the way here so I wasn't wasting time and stuff, but hmm. I like to just lock in and just punch in bar for bar for real. Okay. That's how I like to do it, I feel like. I get the best sound out of myself when I do that and more energy. I don't know. When I write it, I feel like I read it sometimes. So hmm. I don't know. Or I got to like rememorize it. Yeah. Now, a lot memorize of artists it. tell me that too. Man. It's like when they write some shit, it's kind of hard to yeah, yeah. You know, deliver it then. For sure. But then it's hard when I uh, don't write it because <laughs> then when I do like the video or something, I don't know the words or like. <laughs> you got to memorize that. Or too. when I go to perform it, I'd be like, fuck, I didn't write it. Yeah. And you record yourself all the time, right? Most of the time, Sid, okay. Sid be recording me too, so, you know, so. Okay. But yeah, for the most part, uh, I record myself. We, uh, I show him stuff, like if mixes, see if he give me any tips, vice versa, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, really just like that. And do you prefer to be like by yourself when you're recording or have a lot of people in the studio with you? It depends on the, on the vibes, but I could record with people, but I, I mainly like to be by myself. Okay. I feel like I, I can lock in for real. Yeah. And then, you know, nobody's saying nothing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Probably easier to focus, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. And who are some of the producers you've been working with lately? Uh, 
Shit, Noah made this. He's a producer. He's from Sarasota. He actually stays out here in Georgia now, though. Okay. Um, I got a couple beats that I just used from a producer named Scooby. I think he's out in Florida somewhere. Okay. Um, shit, I produce some of my stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of some more. I got another producer, produced by Tay. He's pretty nice. Yeah. So, them the main ones I've been working with a lot lately. Okay. Yeah. How long you been making beats then? Um, I've been making beats for probably about four to five years, like, that I was actually liking how they kind of sound. I just started posting my beats, though, like a oh, year, really? like, probably this year, for real. That's it. Yeah. Posting them, putting them on BeatStars, sell them and stuff, because everybody's always like, you know, why, why don't you drop your beats? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I always if you just be feeling like, I don't know. But I started dropping them, though, so okay. that's the good thing. So, and they're not doing too bad. I had somebody pull up, and they just were doing a session one day. They was actually doing a session with him, and they came back there and bought five beats off me, and that's really what. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. That's what made me really, I was like, all right, it's time to upload them, because. Might as well. Yeah, there's yeah. some money in this shit, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So what motivated you to start making beats at first? Was it just you looking for a certain sound or? Nah, I just like the whole aspect of music and I try to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I just like, uh, I don't know, I like doing all of it. Like all the way down from the beats to engineering to recording. Yeah, it's like you got your hands on every mm -hmm. part of the process. Yeah, and I don't it. produce all my, all my songs, but. Yeah. Some, I got a couple, I got, actually only got one release that I produce right oh, now. Oh, for real? Yeah. You're just holding on to everything else. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Real. Yeah, so talk to us about the music scene in Sarasota, man. It's actually going up. It's a lot of shit going on out there right now. Um, There's a lot of artists out there that's trying to do something, yeah. make a name for themselves. So it's pretty lit. We actually got a lot of artists. Sarasota, Bradenton, East Tampa's there. Mm -hmm. So it's, Orlando's not too far. Miami's not too far. Yeah. So it's all like, you know what I mean? Connected in a way, we just got to get out there. But everybody's working in soda right now that I know, that I see, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Would you say there's a lot of unity amongst the artists out there? Mm, kind of, but not really. I feel like some people are kind of, you know, big headed. So you know how it is with artists. But for the most part, the people that I know, like I'm cool with, they're pretty, it's pretty solid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you got to open up for. Uh, Bunch of artists like Nudie, Lucky. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, both of those were pretty cool. Uh, Lucky was a fun one for me. Um, that was at the uh, sk actually, fuck, skate park of Tampa. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so that was lit. It was pretty packed in that one. Yeah. Uh, the Nudie one was at Oprium in Tampa as well. Um, that was nice too. Yeah. That was nice too. I stayed for that whole one. The lucky one, I didn't stay. I should have stayed though. Oh, you should have. I'm sure yeah. he turned that shit out. Yeah, he did. Yeah. My, my people was trying to go, man. I had a slide. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it, man. Uh, you got the new single uh, with my shooter, man. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that one. Talk about the, yeah. you know, the creative process, the inspiration with that one. Uh, I actually was, I had that for a while. Not that long, but I had it for a minute. I just uh, recorded it. Shit, I freestyled that one. Hmm. But um i tapped in with uh travis golf he's signed to tsf mm -hmm. and i had him get on that we shot the video so and he slid it too so it was oh, yeah. lit did you just reach out to him on ig or how that connection happen? uh he actually knows one of my dogs so they're pretty oh, okay. cool so he t actually is the one that connected us together oh shit. yeah yep and how's the feedback been look like fans fucking with that song too man. yeah yeah i actually got a decent amount of feedback on that one and um Ran some promos on it, you know, so yeah. that's, uh, I was trying to, going to probably have to run it back again and do more promos. We actually got some more stuff uh, that we did. We did a song. He was out here on this trip with us for a little bit. Uh, we okay. got another song done. J. Millie Mills is on that one. Okay. And we got, uh, we got another one, too, that we shot a video to back before we left. So we got a couple projects that we're going to be releasing here soon. Oh, that's hard right there. Yeah. 
Y'all be getting in the studio together to cook up, or do you normally just send them something um, that's open? One time I went to his spot and we recorded there for the last one we did. Uh, we recorded this one out here at the Airbnb because I brought my setup with me to the Airbnb too. Okay. But we were also at the studio. But it was a lot of us. Everybody's trying to record too, so we had to like split up into groups. You know, some of us go to the studio, and some of us stay at the B and B and record. Yeah. So yeah. I dig it, man. To make yeah. sure we get get as much done. We got a lot done though, so yeah. it was a successful trip. <laughs> Might as well make it an EP if yeah. you got three of them already, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. A couple we more, could. that's an EP right we there. We could. I've been having a lot of people tell me it's the best to do, just do singles right now, hmm. though, because, you know, budget wise and one single and then you put your best singles on, you know what I mean? Then put them, put them together in an EP or a project or however yeah. you want to do it. But I definitely got an EP with Trav probably now. We definitely got about four. We probably got like four songs done total. Okay, okay. That'd yeah, be yeah. hard right there, man. Hell yeah, I got yeah. some stuff coming with Rollboy too. Mm -hmm. He's out of Tampa. Mm -hmm. um, I also got a song with Lil Dump as well. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. So those are going to be coming out here soon too. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can get him to do the videos, you know? No, that's the important part, yeah, man. Yeah. People want to so, see this shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk about that outside uh, song and video that you put out with Lil J. Outside, yeah, that's, that's, that's a hard song, too. My brother slid that bitch, too. Yeah. So, hell yeah. Uh, we see, we made that at the studio. I actually had that ready, too, and bro came out to Florida for a little bit. So I was like, I need, I was like, hop on this. I actually had a second verse on it, I took it off, so. Oh, really? I was like, hop on it, yeah. That was hard right there. he slid that bitch, so. Yeah. Uh, so what's some of your goals, uh, you know, looking forward, whether it's short term or long term? Uh, just to keep going up, keep progressing every day, or at least year by year, you know, S slowly but surely. Shit is going up, so. Yeah. Uh, shit, hopefully being, really being on tour in the next year or so, so. Okay. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Rocking out shows. Yeah. And how would you describe your growth as an artist, you know, from when you first started up until today? Uh, really just finding my sound. That was probably the biggest thing um, from the beginning. Because, you know, when you first start rapping, I was like trying to just say anything and really putting the words together and making it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Make sense. It's like, and finding that sound. And I think I finally found that sound probably, probably when I moved to Florida for real. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what the next single, next video is going to be? Um, yeah, I got a video that I just shot. Um, it's called Let Me Talk My Shit. Or it might be the one with, Tra with Travis first. I don't, I don't know, I gotta figure that out. But it's gonna be one of those probably first. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Let Me Talk My Shit. That's a cool video though. It's what type of vibe is that song on? Um, like popping your shit type? Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, you know the, I'm trying to think who, uh, artist to kind of put it with. I don't know, the beat kind of reminds me of like some like old, like Chief Keef. Oh, really? It's like an old Chief Keef type of sound. But the, the way I hop on is a little different. Hmm. So it's a nice song, though. <laughs> OK. Can't wait to check that shit out, man. Hell yeah. Make sure I send it. Yeah. Uh, what's some advice you would share to some new artists trying to get their foot in the door right now? Lock in, bro. <laughs> Lock in. Shit. It's time is now. Yeah. You know, don't wait. The longer you wait, the longer you're going to be pushed back. Next person gonna fly right past you. Not real shit, man. Yeah, there's a new rapper popping up every day, right? Yeah, now. every day, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, who did your chain? Uh, Golden Diamonds Tampa. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dependent. Oh, that shit are, man. How'd that's you it. feel when, you got when they got done when they showed it to you, man? It was lit. <laughs> it was lit. I was happy, man. I was real happy. Yeah. Uh, you got two kids, right? Yeah, a boy and a girl. Okay. My son's four. My daughter will be one in a couple weeks. Okay. That's all right, man. Yep. Uh, do you feel like, you know, being a father changed your life these past four years then? Definitely. Definitely. It really made me, like, now or never, you know, or not now or never, but you know what I mean. But uh, really just got me to focus up and more stay out of the way just so I could, you know what I mean, do this music shit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely motivate you a little bit. Nah, for know. sure. It's the, the biggest motivation I got for real so yeah for real you want some more kids uh, down the road too or I don't know 
Two's a handful already. Two's, I'm already yeah. I can tell you that. I don't know. I, I'm not, I know sh shit happens and shit, but I'm good with the two for now. <laughs> I'm good with the two for now. I dig it better. They straight though. My kids are be chilling. Yeah. Right now, so I don't know. <laughs> right now. Uh, what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now today? Shit, just stack your money, stay out of the way. No matter what you do, shit. Whatever you do, focus focus on it hard. Cause same shit, shit. Yeah. Stay focused. I dig it, man. Hell yeah. Uh, you got any hobbies outside of music? Like, what else you be into, man? Yeah, I do a lot of music though, so I don't be doing too much. But <laughs> I do do some stuff. I'm um, trying to think. I don't know, man. Fuck. You just be on music. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I do a lot. I mainly just be in the studio daily, and with the kids, you know, we go do shit. So ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> You know, Hobbies. Dedicate all your time to them, man. Yeah. yeah. Shit, I got set up at the house too, so I lock in. I, wherever I'm at, it don't matter. Okay. Yeah. School, I'm in school. I got a lot of, so I do a lot of shit with my time, so I be. <laughs> I feel uh, you, yeah. man. All right, so go ahead and uh, plug your social media so everyone know where to follow you at, too. Uh, Instagram, Big Peso FLA. Um, TikTok, Big Peso 97. The label page, CCG the label underscore. Um, the studio page, Soda Studios 941. So, yeah. Okay. Good. And you got a shout out you'd like to give uh, before you wrap it up here? Shout out to the whole team for making the ATL trip happen, you know? Shout out, shit. Shout out Lil Rye, he came and did a feature with me. Oh, that's hard. Shout out, uh, I got another feature with another artist out here, Cool Boy Fresh. Um, shout out my boy Nine. Shout out my boy Zeke, he a ho though, cause he not here. Uh, shout out my boy Hotline Grizz, cause he a ho, he not here either. So, that's all I gotta say. Uh, shout out to CJ driving the short bus. <laughs> Bet. Yeah. Chastik came with attachments, now I ain't playing no war zone. I'm with your bitch right now, I would say a name, but I don't know.